Well, as you say, we have been here before, but we haven't actually gone over to the other side of the debt ceiling before. And so I really think, you know, anybody who says they know what effect it would have is uh, is bluffing or, or you know, really uh, telling a fib, because I don't think there's any way to know what the effect would be. But one thing that I, I like to tell people is not to think of a debt ceiling uh, breach as a binary event. A lot would depend on the details of uh, what the Treasury does if we go over the debt ceiling, how long the impasse lasts. I think that, you know, if we had a very short term breach of the debt ceiling with payments, you know, being delayed by by, you know, a short amount of time and, and potentially a legal fiction that there hadn't been a default. I think that that would have a very different impact than if an impasse stretches on for days or weeks or even as we get into months. I think, you know, if we have a long lasting breach of the debt ceiling, uh, you know, it would be very difficult to avoid a recession at that point. Well, as you say, Gabriel, we've never gone into a default situation because, you know, you normally see a lot of political posturing on both sides. Uh, and then there is some kind of bipartisan agreement that uh, raises the debt ceiling. Um, but, uh, I mean, if we look at another debate that's going on right now, and that is, should the United States have a debt ceiling? I mean, is it necessary? Because there are some who say, no, we don't need this. You know, I, I think the reason some people say we don't need a debt ceiling is because, it, you know, the Congress has already authorized all of the spending that the Treasury would be doing under the debt ceiling. So in some sense, you know, the debt ceiling is, you know, a completely separate cap on, on borrowing, but it's mm -hmm. for money that Congress has already authorized the government to spend. Yeah. Uh, you know, so in that sense, it's, it, you know, it's duplicative. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there are other people who say, well, it, you know, it gives the out of party power a, a leverage point to, you know, to have input into spending decisions. So, yeah. you know, that's a, a, above my pay, pay grade to, <laughs> to decide. But, you, you know, I, I certainly can see uh, both sides of that argument.